Hi everyone, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I'm Snookus and this is another episode of our Swedish independence campaign, Mark II. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. Last time we discovered, unfortunately, that Moscovy is gonna jump up the rest of Novgorod here. Which means we can't take these two areas, which we would have liked to move because we would cure the border gore here. Border gore. And um, it would not pose... Uh, it will prevent um, the strategic issue with having um, Moscovian, Moscovian, um, Moscovian territory poking into our territory here. Proving, um, providing many points of attack. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm... I'm confident that with the help of our Polish-Lithuanian allies, we can actually outpower Muscovy anyway. Although, I suppose, they aren't allied with anyone even. So, even, you know what, saying that we're gonna build up a spy network over in Muscovy, and um, preemptively anyway. And then, if we find an opportunity to attack, we, would, we will probably do just that. Which, even, even letting Lithuania gain some... Uh, uh, and gain some um, territory and possibly allowing them to demand independence, which wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Anyway, um, our uh, our colonization efforts go uh, are going as splendid as usual. In a few years' time, about um, well, in about seven years' time, we're gonna have a fully flourishing colony here in Bermuda. Our lone guy is gonna have built a hotel and stuff so we can go and sunbath and cool stuff like that. And this one in Best Bigness is gonna be finished soon as well, freeing it up to doing other stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna start it off that there, like I did. Nice. Some extra power. Monarch power. Um, okay, so let's see here. Um, we're still one of the great powers, although we're lagging behind quite handily. But as soon as we adopt the next uh, institution, that should fix itself. Religious-wise, it seems like someone has been... Um, I'm not gonna deal with 18 religious regiments, I'm sorry. So, we'll have to simply do that. Um, I, someone has been... Um, What? Oh, they're occupied. <laughs> that explains that. That explains that. Um, <clears throat> the reform, the, the reformation, have been spreading somewhat, and it seems like maybe it, we might, we might, we might, we might get what I asked for last time, which is a reformed uh, Savoy and some larger nation down here in southern, southern um, Europe. South and Central Europe, anyway. But okay, um, we're still waiting for the troops to uh, be up wi with the Lovinian Order so we can attack them. And I would like to attack Scotland just to convert them, but that's not something that's in the card apparently. In the cards. I'm gonna top up our relation here with um, England. You know what? It's gonna be screw off. Um, Poland is doing fine relationship-wise with us. <clears throat> um, we don't have any roll risk, so that's nice. So now we're pretty much just waiting for an opportunity to... <clears throat> God, I'm, I apologize. Wait a second. Sorry, my uh, throat is killing me a bit here. Anyway, we, we just lost an advisor. Um, global tariffs, sure, we don't have any colonists, unfortunately, but it's better than nothing. And as you can see, our um, colony over here in West Bigland is going to be done. What I, was, what I was saying about Moscow, we're waiting for an opportunity to pounce on them. And we're, we should probably try to get in a position that we can utilize such an opportunity. Permanent castle battles against um, natives, so that's going to be great as soon as we um, get a permanent 
settlement somewhere over here, and also naval force limit modifier, which is also really, really nice. Because now we can buy some more trade ships. Among other things, but uh, most of all, trade ships. Trade wise, we are gaining um, pretty much the same we were earlier. We should probably uh, start to try and pry some um, trade over from the Novgorodian trade node here from the Russians with some ships or something. But that's something we're gonna look at in a little while. Although we could build um, a marketplace here. We probably will do that as soon as we get the money. Um, right, just a month or two until um, West Britain is done, then we're gonna see if we can um, get some more holdings, and there it is, there it's done. And now we're gonna core it, and stuff like that. Let's see here then. We still can't reach down here, unfortunately. So where should we go? I suppose we should try to gobble up some of these areas while they're still uh, Open. 5 development, 10 development. We're gonna go for Caesar Peak here, uh, which also have the James Estuary. And then when this in, uh, this colony in Bermuda is done, we're gonna shift focus over to the Caribbean again. Uh, mostly because the Caribbean used, um, is usually the prime target for, uh, for other nations when they colonize. Thanks, Poland. And what's gonna improve relations with you? We basically don't have a chance of succeeding with that one. That isn't the end of the world, but anyway. Okay, so how is our revolt situation looking in Gravesfeld? Um, negative 97, so they have about negative 3 without the recent uprising buff. So let's, that would um, put them at a plus one um, revolt risk if you take that one. And then, and then recent uprising is expiring in a year. So we, I'm fairly certain we can do that without much of an issue. Um, cool. Okay, so let's reiterate our... Um, uh, Colonial strategy again. As soon as we've gotten. Okay. Let's just make sure that we keep our alliance with Britain going, or England, I suppose. It's not Britain yet. We will colonize as much as possible about within of the Caribbean, um, focusing on the two big islands and uh, more specifically on the two trade um, natural harbors. And then we're gonna take somewhat of a holding here. I think we're gonna stop at about 10 colonies. Yes, we get a proper um, colonial nation going and then we're gonna go full ham on Canada here to make sure that we get a strong colonial nation that can shuffle over lots of trade to us. Uh, okay, so we can take this one which wouldn't do a lot for us or otherwise like discipline, but that's more useful during a war. Missionary strength not really useful anymore either. Prestige would be nice. Legitimacy, not really needed. Even though we are losing some due to our regency. But you know. So I think we're going to go with the production efficiency. Even though we aren't producing... We aren't gaining much money from production. It also buffs um, our trade. Since most of our provinces are in the Baltic trade node. <clears throat> I'm going on my throat. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I apologize. My bad. Um, but yeah, okay, then we get poor iron for two years. I'm, um, even though we would have won easily, it might be, a, it might have been a good that we didn't go to war with, um, Moscovy. Okay, anyway, we just, um, got Gustav the first, Adolf Horn, Horn, I don't know, um, uh, why did that, uh, on the throne. And he have he has he have no um, traits as of yet, but we'll see soon. And we already have an heir, so either he got someone pregnant really young or their brothers or something, um, which are really nice because we are gonna need that extra administrative points to um, um, 
keep up with all the others since we are f lagging behind quite a lot on specifically administrative tech. Um, but anyway, he looks nice in every other regard as well. 4 to 1. And having Gustav I, Adolf Horn, uh, right now also allows us to choose a military idea group uh, since you have a decent military monarch status. We also get Swatcher Riders now, and which means Black Riders, I, I believe. And a new um, cannon. I'm gonna go with the Pedrero. Oh, right. And he gets Fertile, which increases the chance of new air, which is really nice since he is, he is quite young and um, there's a chance that we lose this guy. Do we still have um, Royal Marriages with everyone? We do ha here, we do here, we do here, and that's the most important ones. I, don't, I think that's the old ones even. Yep, nice, okay. Let's go with that. Okay, let's remove our diplomat there and let's top it off with Brandenburg. Nope, with Brandenburg. And just to make sure that we keep our alliances strong here. Little blue blob is just plopped up here in Chesapeake Bay. Bermuda is going to um, finish soon. So that's nice. <clears throat> so if we count here, uh, all of Cuba is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 provinces, and then we're gonna need at least 4 more. So 1, 2, 3. Or we could just take. Uh, I believe this is Jamaica, right? <clears throat> or Haiti. Um, so we could just take um, all of this island as well, which would give us uh, 11 provinces, which would give us the extra merchant. Yeah, sounds about right. War-wise, um, well, since we do have a new king, we could uh, try to um, attack Moscovy. Right, let's actually place this um, marketplace that we talked about. And let's also place... Um, since we are gonna import a lot of trade from America through the North Sea trade node, we are gonna need as much trade power as possible here. So let's preemptively start doing that by placing some marketplaces here. It's not gonna be immediately useful, especially since we don't actually collect trade in Lübeck, but eventually it's gonna pay off. And getting a large, a large um, mar market presence as you can as soon as possible should help us in the long run. <clears throat> God, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm gonna have to go through this episode in post and try to keep the audio clean. Okay, great. Let's top it off with England then. Um, actually, let's not. No reason to do that. I think we're gonna go to war with Moscovy, and the only promise we're gonna take is Novgorod. And then we're gonna... I'm just um, maximizing all the influence uh, before we take the military points, so we get as much as possible. Uh, by doing that, we also freed up a new tech here, administrative tech, and a few more, then we can take a new idea. We also got a decision here, act of uniformity, which gives us missionary strength. Very nice. 
should uh, should speed up this conversion here a bit anyway. Uh, but as I said, let's see here if Moscow is willing to, if anyone is willing to uh, work with us in attacking Moscow. It seems like Poland is. And what we're going to do, I believe, as soon as we have gained enough um, spy network points or um, percentage to uh, claim Novgorod, is that we're going to go in and then we're going to take Kolm, which I believe is here, and Novgorod here. And um, the rest of the points we're going to use to humiliate them so we get enough um, power projection to uh, get the extra mission monarch points, not missionary points. Although, you know, yeah, <laughs> let's not make that joke. Um, nice, and Bermuda is going to be f finished in just a few months here. The, the marketplaces that we made are pretty much finished as well. Okay, we already gained the Conquistador, so let's just take the extra settler chance and global settler increase. And Bermuda, even though uh, it does belong to the... No, it used to belong to the Eastern America trade, uh, Eastern America colonial region. But it doesn't anymore. So okay, then we're gonna keep it as a proper province. Let's see if we can explore anymore. We don't have an explorer anymore, so let's take a new one. N yeah, let's try to explore like here maybe. And we also have a free colonist. So let's do it's Savannah and. Uh, Parahonas, that's the one that we want. So let's take this one first, because this one is going to be harder to reach for any other um, nations. We want to pre prevent them as much as possible for from taking um, any provinces here, since we want them. It's ours. Yeah, okay. It's going to be six months or so before it's... Um, it's uh, it's uh, the colonist has reached Barahonas, but once it has, it's gonna be quite quick about setting up the colony. Okay, this is looking um, mighty fine, everything. We lost our best general, but you know, it's not the end of the world. We have a pretty nice conquistador that can help us in any pinch. Hey, we should have checked the development. This is much more development, we should have taken that instead, but you know. Okay, this is done. Is there anything more we can explore? No, of course not. So now we're just waiting for um, this, pretty much. Let's see um, the institution spread then. Are there any chance for us from for picking up soonish anyway? Hey, Hesse turned into the new and became became the new emperor. So if we wanna attack Hesse, right? Yeah. So if we want to attack the um, Holy Roman Empire, this is the time, pretty much. They are allied with um, Brandenburg, unfortunately. But other other than that, they're pretty much. It's pretty much the best time we're ever gonna get to attack them. So we could actually attack Liebeck. Okay, I'm gonna consider that for next episode because our time is up. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, thanks for watching. You've been great. Please leave a like and or subscribe if you feel like it and if you want to see more of this series. But yeah, hopefully I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye.